He's a half black dude, half Asian dude who is against BLM. I want to listen to his take, lol. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on white people. there. Shout out to white people. So what were you guys talking about? Sports. Cars. TikTok. Memes. Black Lives Matter. Nice. No. All right. And I decided to make the 16 hour drive up to Portland to see this for myself because if I didn't, I'd regret it. It's fascinating because none of it really adds up. Portland is known for its population of gender fluid hipsters. How did they end up in a war with the police? Obviously it's because people are bored of quarantine and they need something to be mad about because they're failed artists, but maybe they're right. Maybe they got a point. Maybe we- I just hate this because like Portland is the worst place to fucking uh, hyper focus on too. It's just like Portland is his own fucking uh, area, okay? Like, why didn't he go, why didn't he go to, like, fucking, uh, Minnesota? You know what I mean? Why? Why not Minneapolis? Why not St. Louis? Why not fucking Ferguson? There's, like, plenty of places where there's, like... I mean, they burned a fucking police station, dude. Like, if you're gonna go to fucking Portland to be like, haha, whites are going crazy, am I right? Then, you know, you're doing a, a, a disservice to the cause. Okay? really should abolish the police like they want. And if you're a little stupid, because I'm not sure everybody knows what this means, abolish means formally put an end to. So no police. They already have no police zones, which is exactly what it sounds like. They have section off streets that the police ignore and communists with helmets control. It's not a movie, it's real life. And as soon as I drove in, they stopped me. Main Street is closed. Please take a right. I heard you. Why don't you stop, park your car, and join the protest? What are you protesting? For Black Lives Matter? For the Black Lives Matter protest? What are you doing right here? Just park your car and join and come talk to us. Yeah, so it's a Black Lives Matter protest. We've been protesting every night for the last 80 days. So defund the police, don't abolish the police. Well, there's, there's some people who want to reform the police, there's some people who want to defund the police, and there's some people who want to abolish the police. What do you want? I think we should abolish the police, but I don't think we should do it like overnight. So you think the city could run if there were no cops? There's I mean, the Eugene. city's not running with cops, so... There's that thing in Cold and Eugene that they have that goes around and they help you. So you mean private police? Not like private police, but like people that know what they're doing when they have to like deal with like people that have mental issues or like... So social workers, like therapists? It's hard to explain. Well, what if someone burns down a building? Who do you call? You obviously call... There should be a separate number to call just like... Okay, so this is why I always say, like, there needs to still be a formation of people. First of all, if someone's burning down a building, call the fucking fire department. That's an easy answer. But this is why I always say that there needs to be a formation of people that, like, solve crimes and shit. Crimes are still going to happen. Violent crimes are still going to happen. The whole point is, though, that, like, there needs to be more resources to actually tackle the systemic issues that create an environment for crime. That's the actual foolproof method of solving this problem. Not uh, having more and more draconian measures, not fucking jailing as many people as you possibly can, not leaving an entire uh, demographic of people behind, okay, in redlined areas, uh, devoid of the adequate funding necessary for their development, and then being like, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Why can't these guys pick themselves up by their bootstraps? And then over-policing those communities, literally taking tax dollars away from those already underfunded communities. And instead of re-appropriating those funds to like education measures, after-school programs, things that demonstrably fucking lower the crime uh, in said neighborhoods, instead funding the, uh, taking those tax dollars and then giving it directly to a fucking paramilitary group that literally operates as an occupying force in said communities that then actually are getting great salaries and then living in fucking other towns and making the schools in those towns better with the tax dollars of the fucking black community you know things like that are kind of fucked up it's a complicated thing to describe that doesn't mean that there should be no fucking uh you know uh, organizational tool or no fucking group of individuals that maintain the presence of law and order okay i'm not one of those people God damn, dude. Like, this situation is so fucked. He's just like putting a fucking camera in front of, like, uh, you know, a, a bunch of random anarchist protesters and shit is not, you're not doing anything. You're not solving a problem. And you're not even having, like, an honest discussion about anything either. Uh, 
So it's just police, but a different name. Property. Just say yes. Yeah, police by a different name. Sure. All these seem clip chimp to hell. Well, here's the thing, dude. The people that fucking get... The people that you fucking put a microphone in front of, especially in fucking Portland of all people. Oh, my God. Obviously, they're not going to be the fucking most, like, well-rehearsed. And, and they're not going to have the fucking best takes, okay? I'm sorry. Portland's kind of fucking weird, all right? There's a lot of shit going on there that's weird as fuck. Portland's also, well, not Portland, but Oregon is also insanely fucking racist. It's like you have Portland, lots of white people, okay? And some uh, marginalized communities surrounded by just like one of the most racist fucking places that you could ever be in. Portland was so, I mean, Oregon was so fucking racist that they literally were like, we don't want even slavery here. Okay, for those of you who don't know, Oregon was so fucking racist, they literally did not want to have slaves because they were like, we don't want to live around any black people whatsoever. They re only recently, recently fucking abolished uh, a old ass law that stopped black people from purchasing homes. So that's how fucking racist uh, uh, Oregon is. So that's the reason why you see a bunch of fucking hogs with paintball guns and shit go down to downtown Portland every, every fucking weekend and just like keep shooting at people with paintball guns and shit. The Portland Police Department also collaborates with those white supremacists. So, you know, there's a lot going on there and it's weird. And then also these guys are cringe. I'm sorry, they're cringe. That's the reality. They're, they're well-intentioned and their heart's in the right place. A lot of them, uh, a lot of their heart's in the right place. They want to protect marginalized people. They want to protect queer people. They want to, you know, uh, push back against like uh, white supremacists doing show of force demonstrations, but they're also fucking cringe. So it's difficult to, you know, make a good argument for them if that's what you all, that's all you care about is the aesthetics. Okay? Anyway. Destruction. Graffiti. Breaking windows. Even something as extreme as burning a building down is not violence. Burning a building down isn't violent? No, because it's not people. What if someone's in there? Well, if someone gets hurt, then it's violent. But if it's... If you can leave okay, this is the fucking worst argument always, too. It's like, what if someone's there? Okay, what if someone is there? Yeah. Why are you upset about that? Because it's violent against the person, right? This is what I always say. It's like, people, you can't fucking bring back a life when a cop kills a black person, okay? Or when a cop kills a white person. You can't bring back a life. You can rebuild a fucking store, okay? You can rebuild a target. The only reason why you get mad when fucking storefront properties are like blown up or whatever the fuck is because you are upset about how it harms a human being. Okay. You don't care about a building, specifically a federal government building, like a fucking federal court or some shit. You don't give a fuck about that. What a horrible take. That's not a horrible take. That is the take. Unless you unironically think that like buildings hold some sort of intrinsic value in and of itself. Like, like was separated from a human being for the record. Like you tell me why a fucking building has intrinsic value without, uh, what the fuck is this? Sub chat firefighters, Trump 2028. Oh, was this a Sneeko? Is this the dude that we're watching? He's not going to like what I had to say. What about business buildings? Yeah, like what about them? Okay, what? Do you, are you going to tell me building lives matter? Is that what you're going to say right now? It doesn't. The reason why you care about a building being burned down or some shit is because you care about the human impact that it has. Someone owns that building. Okay, someone's losing money. They lose money, their lives are going to be worse overall. Okay? Like, that's the, that's the reason why you care about it. He gave up on 2024 already. I mean, he's fucking, he, he's, I love white people. He's, he's trolling. Like he's literally trolling. Okay. <sighs> Black block chance. We're literally like, you can't be violent against private property. I don't think anyone ever succeeded preaching Goldman and Kropotkin in the streets. I mean, there are some historic buildings. I don't know what they are, but they definitely exist. Okay. Architects worked hard on them. Good. That's again, you're 
you are talking about a human being that worked hard on a building. Skyscrapers and historic buildings are monuments to the city. You're a fucking dumbass if you think the breaking down of targets is the same as like, like what fucking anti-fascist group has ever been able to take down? Motherfucker, do you think Al Qaeda is anti-fascist or something? Because the last time a skyscraper was taken down by someone, it was literally Al Qaeda. Okay. And again, it wasn't because the historic monument of the World Trade Center was taken down. It was the 3,000 fucking lives, dude. And also, yeah, the burning of Alexandria was bad because of the books, not the building itself. You're just trying to think of bad takes now, lol? No, I'm just like looking at brain rotted chatters trying to justify something to me. Anyway, there is no value to a building inherently. The only value comes from the impact that it has on human beings, the human beings that lived inside of it. And I'm not saying it's a good thing overall. Uh, I've never been an advocate for like burning fucking, uh, you know, your local uh, bodega or some shit. Like that's not, you're not doing anything. You're not solving a problem there. Okay. Like, look at this guy. He goes immediately, bro. I love, dude, I love fucking racist people. It's just so funny. Where is it? Where'd they go? Like, Groypers come in here and they go, oh, I'm going to get him on this one. If someone bombed the Hagia Sophia, that would be sick. It's like, dude, that's literally a cultural landmark. You're comparing a target to a cultural landmark of profound historical significance. Like, are you fucking insane, dude? Like... Anyway, our detachment from the products of our labor is why people are fine with burning buildings of their own city. They feel no ownership or responsibility to it. It's also fucking true. People that literally work inside the target will go and fucking burn down the target because they have no ownership over that target. And they really don't. It's not their fucking building. Anyway. So. Target is a cultural landmark to white women. Target is like the Hagia Sophia of the West. That's true. Anyway. So. The reason why I was mentioning all this is because, yeah, like some people are not going to be the best, uh, the best advocates for their own cause. You just got to look at the impact. You got to look at like what people believe, what side they're on. And that's it. And uh, yeah, this side is cringe as fuck. I'll be honest. Certainly. But I still better than the fucking Nazis and the white supremacists and like the Proud Boys who are white supremacists. The building. Well, what do you think about like the activists being mostly white? It's kind of cool to see white folks doing this. Because I don't think that, I think if we saw black folks out here... Nobody would listen. We would be dead. Right, right, right. We'd be dead. <laughs> yeah. They'd yeah. be dead. They'd I don't think black folks could burn down buildings to get away with it. We'd be dead. Burning down a building is a symbolic act. I personally don't burn down It's also down very buildings. destructive and... Sure, but... ...harmful and wrong. It creates economic... What a pussy, dude. ...like activity because you need to employ a bunch of people to build the building back up. I don't know, man. That's that's a, that's like saying bombing Japan was good because then people can clean up the debris. No, because people died, dude. That's the difference. People died, okay? Th that's the difference. Empty building versus an entire fucking... Uh, uh, an entire city, okay? Like, no one is fucking... Oh, God. 
barring like cultural landmarks and shit that are are impossible to recover because uh, i do understand like there is some intrinsic value to some buildings and shit like that like a window being broken is not the same as fucking nuking an entire city oh my god dude no no it was a terrible thing to buy <laughs> and also there is no like like when people fucking lob like uh like a lot of those tear gas canisters back in uh, towards a fucking building or whatever. That's not like you're, you're not even hitting the structural integrity of the building. It's not the same. <laughs> what would you do? I would defund the police, but abolish the cop. That's that's ridiculous to me. That is, I don't see what pussy wants to defund the police, dude. What the fuck? The, like, what do we that? It makes no sense. I feel like this interview was just more of like, a, let me tell you how you feel. You asked me just now. I, I know, wasn't gonna. I'm saying like you. It's like. So we so we should loot. Fuck yeah. We should loot. Looting is redistribution of wealth from corporations to individuals. It's ill-gotten wealth. It's stolen goods, man. It's Sneakers. All Fuck yes! I don't understand what the new police system would be though, if it's run by the it, people. All of us. It's a community. It's a community. All it's a of community. us pulling out there's, there's a dude. This 400 million Here's what it Americans. would be like. Some dude swerving right here, talking so, racist those, shit to this man. Yeah, it would saying, be about us grabbing him and beating him, fucking beating the fuck out of him. It would be about. Oh god, this dude is such a fuck it. Oh god, he is so crusty. Jesus Christ, dude, you're like 40, man. What the fuck, dude? Anarchist. What's up, dude? Just, just chill out, dude. Take a shower, please. I know so many people like this. I mean, I look, I, I love. I love my anarchist homies, but goddamn, dude, you are. You're just like I can, I can literally feel the crust. Freshly showered and ready to crust on some fucks. Youngest anarchist, <laughs> true. All of us being the cop and dispensing the correct amount of justice. So here's the thing: the kick that finished the dude, too much, over the line, not proportional, wrong, bad. No matter what, shouldn't. It's have a little done too it. late for that. They already kicked his yeah, head. Yeah, fuck yeah. What do you think about hey, these protests? Hey, movie eater, thank you for I'm the tank of the subs. Yeah, what do you think about these protests? Bro, here, we'll come over here. Bro, bro, what is happening here, dude? You, you, I am you're a Portland the, resident? Yes, right down the fucking street. What do you think about all this happening here? What is going on here? It's not right. Destroying my home. My family's been here for seven generations in the same house. We watched. Yo, why this dude have to say I'm friendly? When he walked up to the white guy. This place. Seems kind of suspicious, dude. What's up? You see a fucking. You know, you see camo pattern hat, you gotta be like, I'm friendly, I'm friendly. Don't worry. I'm a little sneaky, but I'm friendly. Become what it is now. And watching everyone destroying it is not right. How are they destroying it? Hey, Melon, thank you for the raid, brother. The buildings. What about happened last night? They let, they let buildings on fire, right? What yeah. happened last night? Someone got kicked? Yeah, got beat up. And uh, I think he died. He died? Dude, your beanie glass right. combo is so dope. 100 Bro. emoji. No, I'm dead serious. Trump for Emperor chat. We're supposed to be here together as one. What about the Hispanics? No one's making a big deal about them. I got family there. Being raped, being hurt. I don't see no one saying anything about that. <laughs> I'm all for what you guys are doing and standing up for, but when you start destroying shit, is not okay. Look at downtown with the elk. <sighs> I watched that. I was. That's not his account. His real one is Twitch slash the Sneeko. Account created August 4th, 2020. Yeah, he's got no fucking views. It's probably not real. Let's see. I don't know.
Oh no, it is him. Yeah, fuck it. No, no, Sneako Streams is it is him. It is him. Hey, Fantano, thank you for the raid, by the way. I hope you had a good stream. We're watching Sneako Streams' uh, YouTube videos. There. I, my kids were there. Watch up behind you. We're just having a talk, man. Yeah, no, no. No problem. Just, uh, just be careful sad. tonight because, like, if you saw what happened last night, I don't, I, I don't want the same thing to happen to you. I'm loaded. I'm ready to go. I will protect my family. I will protect my property. I believe it. I, I, I'm all for this. I'm all for it. But destroying stuff is not a right, man. How do we get people's attention? How do how do you want to know? How do we get the government to pay attention? What you guys did last time on the fucking bridge, lying on the ground, saying I can't breathe, that got my attention, and I had all kinds of respect for everyone. But now <laughs> this, and now. All of a sudden, I don't. <laughs> and now, your cause is no longer just to me. Because I'm scared. Yeah. From VCW, whatever. Hey. Ah, how's it going, He even knows me. I'm not a bad guy, but I will protect my family and I will protect my stuff. They think you're a bad guy. You see the way they're hounding around. They're they're waiting. I'm not. I'm they're they're not waiting. Worried. I got one on me. Look at him leave. Bro, I just don't want to, dude. I, I don't touch Portland. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. You know, that's Portland's business. You know how people sometimes say like Hassan, see yourself out of black people's business. Well. I see myself out of Portland people business every day. Okay. It's just like, I can't, I stay out of Portland business. It's just too, it's just so it, it's different. It's too much. Oregon is too chaotic. Okay. It's just, there's so much going on. Too many, too many crusties, dude. Too many fucking anarchists in Portland. 